TV land. It's the Girardi sisters from My Sister Can't Cook Catering. Back. And the El Rancho restaurant in Pine Top. And we are here. And my sister can cook.com. Oh. And yeah. Okay. Okay. We're just everything. Just ask Rika. <laughs> hey, so today. I'm just everything. <laughs> just ask okay. Rika. Okay. <laughs> today we are going to attempt. Why are you using the word attempt? attempt? This that we're doing today cannot be done in a half an hour. So you guys okay. know, this dish that we're making, you need to make sure it's cold and yucky outside. Oh. <laughs> and it's cold and yucky outside. It's cold and yucky, yucky outside. And then you have a couple hours because you need two hours, honestly, to actually bake the pasty. That's what we're making. And almost 45 minutes to prepare it because there's three of us that we're going to be chopping, dicing, and, and when you're at home doing it by yourself, it's going to take more time. Okay. So, so with that said, there's our with that said, So what are we know. making? We are making Cornish pasties, which are from Upper Michigan. My husband's from Upper Michigan. And oh yeah, you betcha. Oh yeah. Oh, and oh. all I ever heard was pasty, pasty, pasty. <laughs> Not pasties. That's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> Not really different. different. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the pasty basically is a pie crust that we make. And inside of it, it has whatever you like. It usually starts with potatoes, carrots, onions, and rutabaga. And I'm guessing they just must have rutabaga everywhere in Upper Michigan. Because when I say rutabaga in Arizona, people go, what are you talking What's about? That? Is it so, kind of oniony, a rutabaga? It's more potato like. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, Is it grow on the ground? Yes. It says, okay. rolls on the tree and you pluck it like the orange. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's a root vegetable. That's what you're saying. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Do we have rutabaga? I don't have rutabaga. Oh. She would let me talk <laughs> since I'm cooking today. Sorry. <laughs> Pee <-ha. laughs> Okay. So we are gonna stepanize this um, pasty a little bit because we're gonna add jalapeno. We're gonna add some roasted green chili peppers that I roasted last night. And we're gonna add garlic because you should have garlic and everything. This is not a fatty dish. There's not a lot of grease or anything. So with that said, oh, I'm gonna start course. bossing these two around. Okay. Okay, first on deck. First on deck, what I wanna do is Cheryl and I are gonna be in charge of making the ingredients <laughs> oh. that go inside the pasty and Rika is going to do the crust of the pasty, okay? Is it a regular traditional pie crust? Or? Uh, it has I a little, little with this chocolate you just keep it, sugar. You oh. can just have a little bite of that later. Lord almighty. Here's your bowl. Okay. Okay. So in this I don't need container, we have two cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, a, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of sugar. Why do you have sugar? Because that's how they make them in Michigan. Oh. <laughs> and then Rika, you are gonna. That's already pre-measured, right? It's already pre-measured okay. it because I knew we were gonna be oh, chopping look at this lovely bowl. Oh, and who's artist, Rika? Okay, we got so, some lard. There's two thirds, <laughs> two thirds, so two thirds cup of shortening that she's gonna cut in. She's gonna show you how to do that. This is is this is this Crisco shortening? Yes, butter, butter, yeah. butter um, flavored yeah. shortening. Oh. Hey, Cheryl, oh, sorry. Grab the milk out. I forgot to get milk. Leche. The am leche. I am I making this into crumble? Yes, ma'am. Where's your measuring cup? Down here. Okay. Excuse me. And then she's gonna have a cup of milk. After she cuts that all in, she'll add the milk. Until and you, she gets a nice pie dough. If you have a food processor too, you could do this in the right. hair. Okay. The goal, the goal when you're making the pasties that I've discovered after 20 years is try to have equal parts. Equal parts of your potato, equal parts of your meat, whatever it is. You this is a this is just some piece of a roast. Random yeah. piece of meat they just found. <laughs> just found some roadkill, brought it over. Which you have made yes. pasties with elk. The best pork. way to make them is with elk, but if you make them with elk, you have to add some kind of pork, some kind of fat in there, or it'll be so dry. dry. You'll yeah. Crack or dry. Okay, so Cheryl is going to start um, slicing that and cubing it fine. Okay. And I'm leaving the, the fat you can, on there? You or? can cut some of the fat off, it doesn't okay. hurt. And everybody in their life needs one of these. What is that? Dandy, dandy, potato. You always have the gadgets. Hey, gadget. I'm married to Mr. Gadget. <laughs> so he's- Oh, here we go with the muscles. Yeah. Let me stand uh -oh. back. Oh, oh, it's a, oh. it's a. <laughs> sure. Now you get potatoes all well, over the counter because it's too hard to press up. <laughs> no, but the reason that we use that is so. <laughs> so I can crease. It. Don't buy that. <laughs> it works really well, actually. I mean, what are you doing? Maybe I got you boiled eggs. I'm or something. like a dork. No, I did them all last night. So. 
Um, that's how you do it? Mm -hmm. Like that? That's a lot of work. Holy it's not a lot of work. Are you okay. holding it the right way? You're and not holding it the right way. Rika, <laughs> just mix your dough. So this, Ooh, you're wait, wait, what kind of potato are you using? Does it matter? I use it on your own I How does she don't lay that down? See how it's got the little, what she's she doing her workout. And look at the, let me feel these. Ready? Yeah, let me see, let me see. Go ahead. Beefy. I did, hair. Well, I'm gonna, when you do it, let me oh. feel. She's making me not go. quite an exercise tool, but okay. I guess so it could be. I'm, I'm just adding a cup of milk to this, and I'm gonna mix it up. Uh huh. And make your little dough balls. You, you can do this in the in the food processor, right? Yes, Rika. Okay. In your food processor. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to get four dough balls out of there. We'll see what the princess can do. She'll probably magically come up with I don't know. Jesus, she'll be have 39 loads over there. And what do we do with all of this? <laughs> These? Okay, so if somebody wants to like send some money in so we can buy some decent knives, good God, you know that's my biggest complaint around here. Um, I think a cup of milk was too much, cause look. <laughs> Oops, oh oh dear. She's running the past these already. Okay, so how do we fix it? Besides add starting all over. Have to add okay, more add more flour, Rika. She's the baker, I would think, and luckily it was a- Your potatoes are like- You're making me cry. Like, they're like attacking me. Sorry, hair, not the potato. I'm gonna like. Is this gonna over. mess this up if I add more flour? No, but you know, try not. We're try not to make the pasty the size of the state of Michigan. Just you know, normal size pasties. Hey, and let me tell you right now, the cheater way. You go to the store, oh. you buy a pie crust. There you go. And then you make all the ingredients. And Why didn't we do that today? Yeah. <laughs> Because I was thinking that the pastry chef could make <laughs> dough for a pasty over there. She's all about the cakes, not the pie. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't make pie. I mean, well, did you see her freak out? Why is there sugar in it? <laughs> okay, so I'm on to cutting the meat. Right. That I tried That's to like, trim a lot of the fat. Okay. Let's see, it got. And if you notice, I kept the skins on. I do. I do that just because it irritates so my husband. So maybe people should start with maybe a half a cup of milk. Yes. Well, you start milk. with a cup of milk. No. And you oh, no. Can I? Can I finish no, my sentence? No, you didn't start it right. You can. You said you start with a cup of milk, milk and then you use it as needed. No, that's no, not she right. put the whole cup I put in. The thing I, in. I know. Oh, okay, so reward it. Put some milk in a cup, <laughs> <laughs> and as you need it, add pour it into it. it. <laughs> there you go. Consult the cookbook and see what they say <laughs> about making a pie cut run. How about buy the frozen pie crust? It's already rolled. Yeah. Um, if you would have put this in your food processor, oh, slowly put the milk in, you it's would have. Power tools. We should have done that because you know what? Then it would have blocked her out. Yeah. We wouldn't have to just do all her you No, you guys would have tried to do that thing you did with the blender. <laughs> oh, blender's on. Blender. You can't talk. Okay, so in case you're wondering what I'm doing over here, I'm cleaning out this green chili pepper that I roasted. Make sure you roast it, guys, because it just adds so much more flavor. What's it, did you like, just put it in your oven? Oh, just turned my it? oven on to broil and put it in there and watched it, and as it, you know, blackens up, browns just up. just turn it? Just turn it. Okay. This is like clay. Making clay. Well, you are the, the um, ceramics ceramic person, drawer. so you should be able to pull it off. Do that. Is that meat small enough? Or No, that needs oh, to be small. smaller. It, it, the, the whole point of using this ridiculous little potato cuber, <laughs> besides trying it's to so you can cut it even more. Could you put the meat in there? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't even push a potato through, so Cheryl would have to put the meat through. Is to try to keep everything like why like sizes. Okay. So then, then it they all cooks even by yeah, size. Okay. Exactly. Okay, and you want me to have four? Four. Am I? You're gonna roll out and you're gonna make four. Pasties out of each. Pasties. Pasties. Yes. And don't they have pasty shops in oh the UK? Oh my God. Because I think, oh yeah, I'm a great pasty maker. Uh-uh. We went to Michigan for my mother's 80th birthday and went to the pasty shop. We saw her first, but then immediately went to the pasty shop. They are to die for. And they just have it down. And they also now are making pizza pasties. Ooh. Which is kind of funny because Rico's like, there's no cheese. So this cheese. is almost like the Italian version of a calzone, huh? Yeah, and it's kind of random. Mexican right? version of an empanada. You know, it's they came about when the miners were. Um, they, I was reading in one of my mother-in-law's cookbooks. The miners' wives would make the pasties for them in the morning, and on the walk to the mine, they would wrap them in tin foil, and that's what would keep them warm. That would be under their coats. Well, then they'd work all day, uh huh, and keep them next to them in that tin foil. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's what would keep the, the pasties warm until they were time to eat. It's just a great tradition. And we're not quite sure what Rika's doing. What is except she for, doing? You know, guys. Pulling she, out gadgets that she doesn't even know how to operate. This could be the show that you go to your cabinet and pull out tuna and say, well, this we're having this. Where did you get that little handy? I brought it from Aunt Polly because I had this great idea that I was going to make um, tortillas. I have yet to make tortillas. With a press? Your mother and your grandmother would be horrified well, if that's how you make I don't know if anybody was night. watching, oh, but when I just tried to roll that out, it turned into steak. Steak? It wasn't round. It was like the shape of... Well, oh, maybe. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. It's okay, Rika. She is the perfectionist. So she tells us... Oh. Okay, now I'm... Uh, that needs to be thinner. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll take till, you know. Okay, so obviously I could probably cut off. Because we added more flour to it. My little gadget one. Oh, I can put it back in there. Go gadget, go. Okay. So now what do you dice? I'm with? putting... A, I'm going to put... A jalapeno in there, just for a little bit of oh, a little hot. kick. Little kick, because you know, I want you guys to notice that I'm making but isn't something. But is the green chili gonna make it hot? Not really. These That's aren't hot. Set. Those aren't hot beef uh -huh. You can tell when you're That's roasting. That's not gonna work. I gave her the easiest job. She's a professional. She does this. I don't know. Every day at the restaurant, she bakes something and she can't roll out dough. Try quit trying to be fancy and just do it. Oh, the right. Just, just do it the worker bee way. Do it, do You're it. You're kind of boss. I'm exhausted now. Can we sit down and have a break? Oh, heck. Is this not done yet? Are we close? Oh, no, we're not close. I, I, that's what I told you. This is one of those, make sure you have uh, a lot of time, a lot of patience. All you want to do is, you know, This is really hard to those. roll with you guys here. Oh, 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 oh. She's so blaming her. Do we need to send happy thoughts to you? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can roll Difficulty it with rolling on us. Wow, my dough is wet. Oh, she has a whole mind. thing of flour next to her, but she can't figure out the... Did you pre-cook anything? Or? You can, my husband was saying that yesterday. He said, you know what you should do is just pre-cook the meat. Is this pretty? Is that, does that work? <laughs> um, no. I'm thinking not so much. <laughs> Why don't you try something? Why don't you try another one? <laughs> I'm having some issues. I see that. Yeah. Where's the pre? The where's the pre-made yeah, pie crust, crust when we needed it? But this will be really good because you can see the the buttery pieces in it. And make sure your butter's cold, otherwise. Do you do you refrigerate this dough at all, or do no. you? Oh, you don't. You can just go right into me. So it's not like kind of like a not like a regular pie, pie dough. dough. Exactly. That's probably why I like not it. It's delicate. It's, it's not as. Oh, it's not? You have to do this and you have to do that and you have to stand with your foot up and face the west in order for the pie crust to. Is it ready yet? Um, I, you don't have anything rolled. I think you have all you can do with your little rolling pin. Okay. That looks really good here. Oh, she I is. am. Look at. Ooh, we can have tartare. Where's the lemon? Hey, and, and you the know capers? what? We need a couple cloves of garlic, too. There's a sink behind you. Oh, maybe. So the trick to rolling, I guess, a round pie crust is you have to turn your dough. Oh. Do you remember watching Grandma roll, roll uh, tortillas? tortillas. Grandma had arms like a linebacker man. She could move a house. She was strong. But they would use a small, they would use, well, Mom still uses it. Oh look, Rika, that one's worse. But then you would like flip it up and turn it around. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Is that thin enough? Better. Better. A couple more rolls. It looks really good. Here, garlic. Let's oh, go. Sorry, I got distracted by the beauty of her rolling. Do you need a different? What about your board? You can take that away. What's she gonna cut on? Well, I'll let her use my. Oh board. wait, wait. Here, I have another board. But oh, wait, there's more. Kind of like the Ronco. Um, you have to wash your knife though. Can okay. I use that one? Yeah. Okay. Well. This can be a really big pasty. Well, remember once you fold it too, right? It's gonna be, that will be two pasties. You'll cut that in half and we'll stuff and that'll okay. be two. Okay. Or however. Do you? At do the pasty shop, they make big ones and little ones, so. Okay. Well, do, you it, do, do you it. order them by big and little? <gasps> Let me tell you the story. We went to Michigan, had the happy birthday for Grandma Lila, and we had to bring back 
four Riverside pizzas and eight pasties. How'd you get they, on the plane? Wait a minute. There, we can do everything. We're sevens. <laughs> <laughs> they half cooked it and then froze everything for us. Then we've got one of those big, huge white coolers, styrofoam. Oh, wow. I don't wrapped remember it. getting any of this. Not even a sliver. I know. Well, we, they're so good. It's because they were eating on the Super airplane cool. on the way home. Yeah. So then our flag got gets delayed because you know it's snowing in Upper Michigan when we get ready to leave. So the Is this can be a long story. Shut up. So they be quiet. Half YouTube. They <laughs> froze it. They they kept it in their freezer for us. And my husband was freaking out. Well, what about our food? Well, he didn't give a rip about the luggage. What about our food? What do you, you think you're gonna? I'm sure they're not gonna take it. No one knows your passage. So are you gonna mix that all together then? Yes. And then, so do okay. you need a big bowl? We're gonna use that bowl right okay. there. So you're putting the potatoes. Put in some. So what about salt and pepper or anything? Oh, thank you, Rika. You guys, you really have to salt this. Remember, it's potatoes, and if you don't salt it, it'll be so bland. Pepper it. Handful of the goo. The goo. Handful of the meat. The goo, which you're referring to, is the jalapenos, the red onions, and the green really? chilies, right? More potatoes, more pepper, more salt, Do you want more the garlic? goo. Yeah, more whatever. pepper, more salt, more, more Okay, so then it's gonna be a song. Oh, what? let's not go there. What do I get to do? You're, You're gonna just stuff. You are the head stuffer. Wow, you got such You're a job. You're so lucky. You get Oops. the best job, Rika. I feel very lucky. I'm all dirty. Well, honey. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a wreck. <laughs> I was busy working very hard. And Rika gave me the spoon or the fork, but really can't do it with the fork. Do you want this garlic here? Yes, I do. Okay. The happy garlic is going in the bowl. Oh, mm, yeah. I can't believe there's no cheese or anything in that. Honey, can you grab some cheese? We can put cheese in. We can no, do whatever okay. we want. It just seems kind of... And you don't cook any of that ahead of time, right? No, you can oh. if you want, okay. I suppose. So how long does it take to cook then? This is that takes a long time. You huh? set your oven at 500, and the first 10 minutes it's at 500. Then you drop it down to 275 for the last. But you could maybe cook that beforehand, and then maybe halfway cook it, and then put yeah. it. in. you could do whatever you want. Okay. okay uh, you know what? Here we're gonna also oh, need right. butter because you have to. There's no. You notice there's no fat in this. We have to put a dollop of butter on top. We need the butt fat. What are we doing? Just put it right there. Okay, okay so you're gonna, you're gonna take about a handful. Okay. And you are gonna, you want me to show you How one? About you, we switch yeah. sides here. So you're gonna take a handful. Ah, like that! Oh. Here, why don't you get her a little, um, some water water to seal her, help her seal her edges. Water. And then just gonna fold it over. Do and I you have put butter? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I need a cutting uh, knife. Dollop of butter. Yeah, you need a big dollop of butter. Like Put that in the middle. Uh huh. Water your edges. You know how you do it. You're gonna seal. Man, it's really Do you like some of this? Nah, it's a little raw. Whoa. And then just crimp them over like empanadas if you want to, however you want to seal it. Well, I think I'll do it this way first. I'll get the pan. That pan's right there over there, Harry. Oh. Where is the pan? It's not. Rika has all. <laughs> Rika has all her uh, cookie sheets at the restaurant because she bakes every single day. We are very prepared today. Do you have to put anything on the bottom of the pan? Do you have spray something? Yeah. Something? Why don't you spray something something on there, Rika? Sure. Something something. Is it down here? No, yeah. it's up above by the by the. Um, I can't talk today. Oh yeah, that was so pretty. Okay, and you see, she already has her little air vents. If she didn't have them, you would put them in, but. What did it just, oh. The potatoes, the potatoes. That you know, to roll over the floor. Okay. Oh, so sh oh. you do poke a little hole? Yeah, okay. you have to. Hey, Cheryl, over on the stove, we have some oil. Okay. Would you turn it on? Because we're going to show what we can do with some Oh, is that what we're going to do with this? Yeah, we're going to make fake a dessert. Not make a dessert, fake a dessert. How high yeah. do you want it? Well, pretty high, because we're going to deep okay. fry. Oof. All right, oil is on. How's it coming? It's coming, it's coming. She looks like she's doing a good job. <gasps> oh, I mean, not really. Look at it, it's all... They, they are not supposed to be, you know, we're not entering into no, any museum did they, piece didn't of... Didn't they bring these over for like 
when they worked in the mine, the coal mines, that this was like their It was the iron ore mines, and I the, think I already told that story, but she obviously she wasn't, wasn't listening. She wasn't listening because she was because running her mouth. Because she was pouring all <laughs> the whole cup of milk into her But this is what crust. they would eat, right? This was the uh -huh. meal. Okay, and then you say the oh. oven starts at 500 and, and how bake long? for 10 minutes. 10 minutes at 500. That's what'll turn it golden on the top. Okay. And then you drop it down to 275 for the last 15 minutes, kind of top. How do you know when it's done? Uh, you'll, it'll you be don't. done, I, mean, I promise. It's okay. You, you can open it up. You you're basically want your meat cooked and your potato tender. Okay. Do okay. I put anything on top of it? No, nope. just go ahead and put it in there, Harry. And we'll do up the rest of these. All right. Oh. Are we doing something with the asparagus? You can do whatever you like with that, but I don't need asparagus okay. for my pasties today. So maybe we should clean up and then we can get back to the sweet The stuff. dessert? Okay, yeah, so we'll that. be back for the really good yummy parts. Hi guys. While you were gone, Rika was working so hard. Can you see the flour all over the poor child? She wants you to feel sorry for her. Yeah. But well, let's not. And the reason, because of course she's such a perfectionist, she had to get out her little pie cutters I know, they're still not very and make pretty. them in perfect little shapes. Okay. And that that's really kind of cute. I would. You're just using up the rest of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little and bite sized pieces. And then what, what did you guys? And then Mel was juggling. This was going to be the desserts. He was juggling, so we have a little smashy smashy room yeah. going on in here. Thanks, Melvin. But we have chocolate, so we can fix it. So with the leftover pie crust, Rika of course took a smaller one of these and cut it into rich cracker shape. Oh, they are kind of like, yeah. And this, remember, is um, the leftover. Just the leftover pie dough, right? Pie dough, and oh, we have a little cinnamon sugar. Ooh, chocolate. Okay. Pie sugar. Some chocolate oh, for Rika. Oh. They would have been prettier if they wouldn't have gotten smashed. Mel. I better eat that now. Okay. We'll let okay. you since she's worked so hard. And yeah. I know. That'll keep her mouth quiet for a while. Oh, yeah, and some powdered sugar. Here we can oh. another one. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the one with the powdered sugar, honey? So that's just a little bit. So the kids over. could eat the rest of the, or the adults. Oh, the kids the rest. adults. It's really, it's really like light and crispy. Let me tell you. She did really just yeah. I mean it's real buttery and Well, we only used half of Yeah. Cuba. Crisco in the dough. Now how are your um, and a full cup of milk? Oh, the food. Hold on. Oh yeah, Dude, that'd be good. People probably want to see the the finished product. Yeah, of all your. But hard this does make a lot. I mean, the the recipe here has a lot, and by the miracle of modern television, this really hasn't been. You don't want that. Spoon. An hour now. Do you have ketchup? I know, you have to have <gasps> ketchup. Oh, I have to tell a story. Oh my God, I guess I can't. No, you can't. Mm. Anyway, uh, oh. okay. it was a ketchup store. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this Are you open. really gonna eat it with ketchup? You have to eat it that's, with ketchup. That's the tradition. What was this used for? Can you give me another knife? I'm gonna cut right. it open. Rika, pull out the ketchup. Cut open the pasty, oh, not the paste. My kids would love these because it has ketchup. ketchup. Mm. And I don't know if you can see this. As I throw it on the floor. Oh, wow. Ooh. So everything just cooked in well, a little. Well, maybe somebody else wants oh. to everything food, cooked in a little hot pot. And then you put it. Really, you eat it with ketchup? Can you, you just put it on the side or you yeah, drizzle it? Yeah. I'm, if you're really from Upper Michigan, you put it all over <gasps> it. But it'll just really, you eat it with ketchup? Eat it with ketchup. Okay, so here's the the pasty. Not and, to be confused with the pasty. Right. And then leftover. Pie crust. Dessert. That Boy, that kind of yeah, if, got Mel, if Mel oh, tells you he can juggle, he can't. Don't trust him. He, he wanted, wanted to do it with the eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He can't juggle. Not no juggling. So eggs. then you have dessert all in one because you're using the same pie crust as yeah. you used before. Hey, try to throw a salad in here so you can have a few vegetables <laughs> and everything's not brown. You know. <sighs> Guys, thanks for sharing another half an hour with us. I don't know what you learned, but I hope you laughed a little bit. We are the Girardi sisters. I'm not sure what she is. <laughs> From the old rancho in Pine Top and my sister can't cook catering and my sister can't cook.com. Have a great day and hope to see you soon. Bye.